Christy Overton Johnson and welcome to my dock where we got a little toasty fire going in the warmth of the Word of God. Recently I was reading in John 12 and um, verse 43 really spoke to my heart because it's talking about how people saw the miracles that Jesus did and it says that even some of the Jewish leaders believed in Jesus. It said but they wouldn't admit it because they were afraid of the Pharisees. And verse 43 says, For they loved human praise more than the praise of God. And, you know, that was my testimony for years. I was afraid to fully follow Christ because I was afraid of what people would think. And I was afraid of the judgment that would come on me from other people. And, you know, Jesus, he didn't wrestle with that. And just recently, um, I was reading another verse in John, verse chapter 5, verse 41, and Jesus is talking um, to people, and he says, you know what, your approval means nothing to me because I know you don't have God's love in your heart. And that spoke to me, too, because I thought about all the times that I want approval from man. I want people to say, yes, that's a great idea. Yes, we love what you're doing. We love those videos. We love those writings. I want man's approval. And, you know, recently I've had an opportunity to minister in a secular world. And um, the approval has not been there <laughs> at all. And I have been shocked at some of the harsh words. And I've been called crazy and all sorts of wonderful things that I don't need to repeat. But, you know, when I read this verse, you know, people were criticizing Jesus. They were rejecting him. And they thought he was crazy. And he goes, you know what? Your approval really doesn't mean anything to me. The only one I need approval from is God. Because I, don't know that you ha I know that you don't have the love of God in your heart. So I ask you, who are you seeking approval from? Because if it's man, the word is very clear. You cannot please man and please God. And to be honest, you can't please everybody anyway. Someone will love your hair. Someone will hate it. Someone will like your outfit. Someone will hate it. I mean, we spend so much time trying to change who we are for people who aren't even happy in their own skin. And so I encourage you today to only seek approval from one place. Get in the Word of God. See what He says about you because you know what? That's really the only thing that matters. And when you know whose you are and who you are, your life will change, your words will change, and your decisions and actions will change as well. God bless you.